going for a good little bird walk here. Oh, looky that bird. Ooh, where's that? Do you see it now? Look at that bird oh. I actually, looking at this, I think that's a bear. Maybe. Maybe that's a bear. Hmm. Okay, past that, I will be filming today because my cameraman has two broken arms. Yes, not very good for filming. Um. Okay, actually starting the video now. Uh, you can see I'm filming out of the other window. There's, there's the window over there. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. Um. Yikes, I zoomed in a lot there. I'm filming out of this window because my desk is here and I'm starting a series where I... Well, this is the first video. Oh, my finger was in the face. Ah, I'll get back. Ah, usually I don't film straight down. Where I would be doing like a playlist of just first video, which is this one. This is like what I'll refer back to. Why? Why is there a spoon here? I don't know. I don't know. So first video is like... Uh, just things like that you should look for in birds. I mean, these live everywhere, but, uh, not, not very good. They're all, uh, same thing as last time. Try again. Much too exotic. Ah, uh, yes. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, sorry, I was just looking at my window. So, this one, black cap chickadee, right? I'm just gonna give you the example of these. Okay, I have to hold the camera kind of funny. But like, look at the beak, definitely gives you a lot of pointers. Chins, the chin will have like a lot in it, so these are just things to remember also if you see some. Uh, wing patterns, uh, like just what color their belly is usually sometimes. Also, most of the time, like their head will explain some stuff. Also, size. Size is kind of a big thing to pay attention to. So, yeah. That is, oh gosh darn it, camera strap. That is what to look for in some birds. I'm going to find another example in this book. Well, the chickadees are getting it today. Mountain chickadee. Boom. This one. You see it has like a black eye stripe. That That is kind of, that is a big thing. Also, those, uh, that white, that's like, that's also like, it's like, it's like kind of like the black cap chickadee, except, except my camera died. And so, except it has like a different, it has, these are called eye stripes, right? top eye stripe and a bottom eye stripe. It's not that common, but it happens. And then you've got, like, it's hat thing. Uh, tails. Tails will have shapes at the end. That's something to pay attention to. Not usually, though. Habitat, what you see it in. And then those, like, sometimes fluffy leg things can also be a thing. Yikes. So I'm using the same word way too much. Okay, next bird example thing. Okay, then. This one. This one actually probably you won't see. It lives in Mexico. But... It has the, uh, it has a crest on it. That, if you see a bird with a crest, that's a big pointer. It has the eye stripe. Mm. And it also has, like, just the same color body, same color wings. That's, and throat thing. Yeah. That's all good to pay attention to. So this one, a bit more common here, is the tufted titmouse. And, uh, it still has a tuft on its head, but titmouses are horrible because they're all one color. So yeah, next, next thing to find. Okay, then I think I've found one that I can do a bit more explaining with. Breast color is red, eye stripe is black, top eye stripe is white, even though it's really just kind of like a crest. Beak shape is a big thing. I mean, these are basically unmistakable. You see, uh, even here, coloring is distinctive. Uh, I don't think, yeah, there we go. Similar species, color is distinctive. So yeah, I mean, that just says a lot. Yeah, let's see. This one over here, pygmy, not hatch. No, let me go to white breast and not hatch. Oh, I guess that is Badoo. Only the the only not hatch with a white face. Okay, then yeah, that's if you see a not hatch with a white face, boom. There he is. Uh yeah, the pygmy not hatch. Almost identical to brown headed not hatch, but ranges are different, so yeah. Some birds are a lot more alike than others, but yeah, let's see then. But yes, but yeah, but ye. What's on this page? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, I hate to find sparrows. I see these a lot. They're just completely blue. Horrible example for this. I guess this birdie can do the splits, except it's it's like its tail and it's foot, but it looks like it's doing the splits, uh-huh. These always live everywhere, but they're just, they look like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah, these, they're basically unmistakable. Wait, let's see what it says. Size, coloring, and habitats are distinctive. Okay, I see these all the time. They are amazing. They have that hat thing there, which is, I mean, that kind of, alright, so when they see them from the front, they have like a mask thing on, it's really cool. White, or yellow tail tip, which you can definitely see when it's flying, and a red wax dot on its wing. These are, these are very pretty looking. But also, yeah, so here's some more features to look at. Yeah, wing color compared to body color, and the, the, the bot, the, uh, the dot thing. The tail color, tail tip color or tail color, because I'll show you, I'll find one where in flight the tail color looks, there's the tail, yeah, there's like a secondary tail color, yeah, see, I'll see that in the My dad says the bear is getting ready to come down, so, uh, I will definitely, uh, I will not have, uh, myself outside for that. Maybe I'll go to the third floor and lock myself in a lead box, but, yeah. 500 pound bear casually walking around. I like it much more in the tree, even though I can see it. I can see it, which is good, because then it's not like, oh, hey, hey, bear, I didn't know you were there. It's like, oh, there you are. You're safely up there. And then it leaves, and you're like, shoot, where's it now? It's like, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like right through all those trees. You definitely can't see it. This one is called Headband Bird, except it's not. It's called the Oven Bird. I've never seen it before. Maybe, maybe other people watching back east have seen it before. Mm. Okay, finally, at long last, we've arrived at the Sparrows. I mean, this one, it's, it has those two white eye stripe things there, and it actually, no, it's one on top. See, it's not getting focused. Oh, come on. One on top, one eye, or one white stripe on top, one around its eye, and then one on the other side around its eye. Those are, those are very cool. But, yeah, I need a different example bird, because, gosh darn it, zoom out. I need a bird that I can show many bird features with. What? What is that thing? What is it standing on? That's terrifying. Ooh, yeah, this one. They sometimes have, like, a jawline. You can see that jawline there. Yeah. Let's see. Is there any other bird parts that I would be able to find in this? Oh, dark-eyed juncos. When they fly, I will insert a picture here. Boom. They have, like, a uh, very white tail, as you probably just saw. White sides on its tail. What's that thing? Where? Uh, ooh, these things, yes. Some have necklaces. Some birds have necklaces. This is a black-headed grosbeak. They're pretty common where I live. And, uh, yeah. What's this? A blue grosbeak? Yes, looks blue to me. That's probably the female. This one has a throat patch thing on it. Now look at this. I'm getting all the helpful birds. White belly, right wing dot, thingy pals. So, yeah, I don't know. I think that's gonna make it for this video. Whoa. Whoa. But, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll post another video today, having the details on how to spot it, identify it, and other thing it. One bird, I think. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. But, yeah.